Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here and I am back with a bit more stitching today I think. Um, this is for my mum because my mum said oh, today that she wanted to see how I did I, I did my messy stitching she called it, your crazy, your crazy wild stitching she said because um, on these sorts of flowers. Because mum showed me hers and she tends to be much neater than I am and she wanted to do the messy look so um, I told her I said to her maybe I could do uh, a video and um, and just work start working on this one uh, and and then she could see so I think I'll use this color and you just so what I do with these like if I want to accentuate parts of a flower I sort of choose what part do I want to accentuate first and I'm thinking I normally would go with the middle sort of color so that pink but I think I'll start with this lighter color and then you have to sort of as you go you have to sort of determine whether you want to fill it all in or do some of it so I won't do it all on camera um, because it will take a long time and I will probably use I normally use three strands I've got four here but I'll have to remove one so one will be wasted. And I already got myself in a tangle. So how is everybody today? I hope you're well. I'll grab my needles. I think I've got plenty of needles in here. And then I did the the I just do very loose satin stitch. We'll do a quilt, isn't it? Oh. We've been for a walk. And Steffi took us um, on a new path that we didn't know about along this little, it's, well, it's like, it's called a river, but it's kind of like a, um, it's kind of like a um, cr little creek sort of thing. And it was quite hot. And so then I felt really um, tired when I got home. So yeah, just, I do short and long stitches and I just go over the color but I don't put them too close together and it just gives it a little bit of texture so we'll do a bit and then I'll pause it and hopefully I'll get this video up um, today because it will take a while to do this flower and this is something like you could choose a piece like this and then it could be um, put in the spine. Uh, you know, it could be your spine of your book. And then I'm going to see, I've already filled up that bit there. And then I'm going to jump over here and fill this. And so I do all of those bits. And you could have them going in different directions if you want to, if you want to really make it look even more messy. I'm just doing very loose satin stitch, as I said before, leaving gaps, a little few, you know, some small gaps there. I'm not doing little stitches, I'm doing big stitches. Okay, so that bit's already done. Okay, I'll just grab some more thread. See here. See, I always if I if I 
pull my threads apart from the sin from the end I get myself into a tangle so I like to I normally start from the center there's only two there I've only taken out two I need three and I'm using three I, I quite like using three strands um, but I, it's, I'm also using three strands because it um, you fill it up quicker you could even use six if you wanted it to be really thick you could use six um, and what number? This is three DMC three eight six six. So it's like a pearly, it's a pearly white. It's not a white white. Whoopsie! Now I've really tangled myself there, haven't I? I'll start again. So you put your tail. down down the needle so the points up here and then just wrap it around a couple of times or three times whatever you like and then pull it down and I've got a bit here and I might just do it on a bit of a slant here So how is everybody today? Are you um, getting ready for Easter? We don't have to do much because we won't be seeing, we'll be seeing my mother-in-law, but that, that's about it. So don't have to do much. Okay, and then I've got to do that bit there, but maybe we'll come over here and do this. So where um, you don't have a lot of space, sometimes I slope them a little bit. So they, they do them more on a diagonal, so then it's easier. So when I've finished this length, I might pause the video and finish off all of these, these lighter areas. And then we'll come back and do the other part. And I come up next to where I went down and you save a lot of thread that way. We're nearly there. I think the hardest thing doing this is just deciding which bits do you want to stitch. Unless you decide to stitch all of it. But I make a selection and then I decide um, what else do I want to do once that bit's done.
sorry it's just unthread oops okay I'm just going to end it off and then I'll go off and finish those it shouldn't take me too long and then I'll come back and we'll see what else to do okay so I'll just show you quickly what it's starting to look like and be careful not to oh dear I've got a loose thread there oh well um not to pull it too tight and um, otherwise you'll bunch up your fabric so I'll be back soon okay so I'm back and I'll just show you here I've finished um, that lighter bit oh there's a little bit there but I might go back and do that afterwards what I do is if there's a narrow strip of color I uh, see how the the widths of the color changes I just switch directions with my stitch to fill it in the best way that I can so diagonals or just across like that put a couple of stitches and now I'm thinking I'm going to do this ochre sort of color and I think I might change my type of thread I think I've got my wool threads here just a minute those are silks so I don't want those um, I want it to knock my tea yellow I've got, I'm going to use my Appleton wools I love those so let's see if I've got a color uh, that will go so that one looks a bit dark oh what about this one yeah that color and I bought a lot of my Appleton wools at the sewing basket in Sydney um, because they have them, I mean, Appleton wools, well, they're not too expensive, but, you know, to get a nice, well, some get, my mum gave me, she probably regrets that, but she did have a lot, and they were a mess, and I tidied them up, and she, I think she had more of one colour, and she's like, take, 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 so I did, because <laughs> I was building, I was, you know, I didn't have a collection yet, but anyway, I bought a lot at, um, at the sewing basket, Sarah, Sarah's been there recently with mum, and she said they have a whole wall, of Appleton walls and I think they're something like a dollar or something like that and normally they'd be for a skein um, I can't remember what they cost oh I'm not very doing a very good job here just a minute I need to switch hands you see and that there you go you've threaded in a flash so I'm going to use this color it's not quite the right color but that's just what I'm going to use and I'll just do the same deal. See, I could um, go ahead and do all of that light pale pink bit, but I didn't, my goal was not, I don't think. I have to see, I never know until I've sort of started. So as I, I told mum, you just um, just choose where you want to start and then you kind of see how to proceed as you go. I'm just going to jump over here. And did I say it probably took me about 15 minutes to finish off the light a bit. And I quite often, I don't like what I'm doing when I'm doing it. And then when I finish it, I do like it. Occasionally, I don't I like what I've done. But I just um, persevere until I, I, you know, I don't judge it until I've finished it. But sometimes I like the different textures of the different I'm using different threads. Where I can, I just jump over to the next bit. If it's too far away, I end it off and then move over there. But these bits are, I can manage to get to without having to end off.
Yes, I'm just sort of following the direction of the colour. A bit in there and now I think I can jump over there so you can get a lot done if you see I'm following I'm 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 changing direction now because the the direction of the color has changed so I'm not going to go up and down like that because then it's all the same I'm going to do go in an opposite direction to what this is um, yeah, if you if you sort of come up next to where you went down, except you know, even unless you're doing a shorter stitch, because some of these are long and short stitches just to fill it in, um, you do you do get a lot covered with one one thread. I'm going to go down here. At the moment, I'm not 100% convinced about it, but I'll just keep going. Okay, I'll end this. Oh, no, there's a tiny bit. I'll end that off and get another piece. But I'm planning on doing these bits too and that flower up there in the same manner. Um, with this one, I might get some sort of thread and just do up the center like that. And I might do some knots in the center of those. Um, and here, I might pick up the lighter pink and the darker pink, I think. Because I might not do that on camera. But if I want to upload this video today, I might have to just... Um, upload what I get done and then I'll maybe I don't know if I'll do another video on it tomorrow but I will I'll be, certainly be able to show it finished because I might work on it tonight if I'm not too tired oh, there's a piece of paper Let's stitch that into it okay so we'll start over here See, I'm following these are shooting out that way. So I'm not going up and down. I'm going out that way. I'm following the design a little bit. Not putting my stitches too close to each other, but not too far apart either. And, and you can even do short and long stitches sometimes. And obviously with the wool, you sort of, um, you fill it out very quickly. See now those design, those um, colours are going down like that. So I'm going to follow it. Because it, that I think that helps um, make it not look too regular. Nice change of pace doing a bit of sewing. I know not everybody sews. And now I'm going to jump over here. 
So I'll finish this thread off and then I'll pause it. If I haven't, I won't have finished, I don't think, all of the yellowy sort of colour. I'll finish that off and then I'll put the camera back on. Actually, the other colour I'm going to do in here is this um, dark pinky red sort of colour. So maybe a wine, sort of a whiny sort of colour. Um, I'll do that actually as well. You don't need to see me do that because it's just the same process as this. And then we might have a look at these other flowers over here. I think that would be fun. Because I think I might approach them slightly differently. And you could decide to um, fill it all in. It could all be heavily, heavily stitched um, as well. That's it. That's another option. But I do like, this is a lovely, um, it's in the star. It might have been a, a Sanderson fabric. I'm not sure. But it um, it's a linen with those sort of Sanderson style flowers. And I really like the fabric, so I don't want to cover all of the fabric up. So look how much you can get done. Just So when I say I'm, I went down there and I'm just coming up next to it, because I'm not doing tight stitches too, so there's no risk of me coming up through the same hole. And then I'm just putting my stitch in there. And then here I'll move over a little bit, put my next one, and that guarantees me too of leaving them, keeping them a little bit loose and not all perfect and tight. Because mum, mum um, said she showed me one that she'd done, and hers was all neat because she's a very, very um, good embroiderer, and um, and so she wanted to do the loosey goosey, the goosey loosey style, and. And she was struggling with it and I said to her well you, the thing about it is you have to sort of like it's hard for me sometimes too because you have to sort of remind yourself not to put them perfectly next to each other if you know what I mean like you've got to make yourself it's a conscious thing to make it look messy and not do you know neatish for me it would be neatish mum for mum it's super neat but neatish um, satin stitch So I've nearly finished this thread and then I'll show you what it's looking like. But you, you just have to refrain from, I like, I judge myself straight away and I'm like, ooh, I don't like that. Um, but I do, I have learned to just keep on going unless I really strongly, sometimes I strongly don't like it. I detest it and then I won't waste my time. But I know, I know that it will, well, it should come together a little bit if I persevere. Just keep on going, nearly there. Okay, so I'll finish off. I'll just end this off and I'll show you what it's looking like. And um, I'll finish off the yellow and I'll do the pinky bit um, because it will be the same thing, more of the same. Nothing, nothing will change. I'm not going to change my stitch or anything like that, but I might change my thread. I don't know what type of thread, but that's what it's looking like. Then we'll get the bit of colour in there. And I might even decide to put a few little few knots in there because that looks like it might be kind of where the centre is. Unless the centre's over there. I think the centre's... No, that looks like the centre to me. I might put a few knots in there or something. I might do that. But we'll, I'll, I'll do that with you guys. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm back. I used... This is a... I think it's a DMC. I might have even put the colour there. Is that it? two two three could that be it or oh, no that might be an old one i'm pretty sure these are dmc perle cottons the i think they might be number five so the ones that come in the skeins so it's a like a raspberry sort of whiny sort of red and i just did this little bit up here and um and then i did the little bits there i am going to put some knots in there so and i'm thinking that well what color will i put the knots in Let's see i could do it in this is, no, that's a bit, well, it kind of reminds me of that colour. Um, I'll probably use a regular DMC for those. Do 
Do I want a brown or do I want to do a pink? That's too bright. I could do a brown. Oh, here's my pearly brown. Do I want to do that one? I don't know. Or do I want to think about it for a bit? This colour, I guess that was fairly similar to the pearly one. I kind of like that colour with pink. dark I think I just want to see um, oh hello where did it go oh it's nearly lost it there we go um, oh where am I oh here they are they're right in front of my face I just wanted to see here in the pinks if there was I oh, see I might like this sort of dusty pink is that too similar to the other one I think it is get myself into such a mess excuse me and it wanted to get that one and it's gone down there we are maybe that one oh decisions decisions I don't want them to stand out too much or do I want to go darker I wish you could answer me I do I really wish you could answer me um I don't think I want to do wool no might like to do the brown. Do I want these more acidy sort of brown? Yes. There we are. Looks like I need to buy a new one of those. And I think I'm going to use um, all six. I might need to get a bigger eyed needle. Because I want it big big knots. Let's try. This might take me all week, all um, afternoon. Oh, now I didn't tell you when we went on our walk, gosh, it was hot. It was only probably 25 degrees, but it was like after lunch. So um, we really were feeling hot. Um, when we went for our walk, so we went, Steffi took us down the back I told you that we kind of very quickly were in the countryside here and um, and so that I told you there's this like little creek um, sort of like it they call it a, it's a river but it's quite small where we are and it goes um, from the Apennines and it come goes down to the sea and we're walking along and there were no people because it's Thursday and Steph's home because it's a public holiday in San Marino. And um, and we're walking along and, and Steph's like, snake! And it was this black, slippery, shiny thing. I nearly fainted. Lily couldn't stop laughing. But I wasn't expecting to see a snake here. I felt like I thought there'd probably be too many people, but obviously not. Nice, big, big, lumpy knots and I like that it's giving it even though they're not drawn in there I feel like it's giving it a bit more definition I won't do too many how many I've got one two three four oh six I don't want six I want to have seven now where am I going to put it I could put it along there or up here maybe I'll put it up there I'm only doing two wraps just because I've got six strands here, so it's quite thick. Yeah. Okay, we'll end that off. Well, that was quick. Fill it in quickly if you use lots of strands. There you go. There's a tip. Use lots of strands to fill it in quickly. Wrap it around there. Put that over there. Now... I want to work on, I've got to do that one, and I want to work on here. Now, on here, where did I put it? I was going to show you, I've moved it away. I was going to put 
this is a very precious piece it's hand done and I want to put that there I think that'll be really pretty so that's going to go there so I just need to be mindful of that when I'm stitching here I'm going to work on here now. I don't need. Well, I need to also have a colour here. I was going to use my Appleton wool, I thought, for there as well. So I'll move those out of the way. Um, I'm just going to put my brown back right over there. And what do I need? Blue. No blue in that one. I need to come over here. Here's the blues and the purples. So let's just, and the pinks. So we'll just pull out a pink. Now I could go with the mid-tone pink or the lighter pink. I think the lighter pink, this one. It's going to be perfect. So that's that one. And then I'm going to choose like a periwinkle sort of blue. I'm just going to put that up there. Maybe want to go a bit darker. Not that dark. I have this one that sort of changes colour a bit. I think I like that one. And then I'll probably do some knots or something in the centre. Just checking there's nothing else that I prefer. Or I could go the same colour. Well, I'll keep that one out as well just in case. I think I've got the right bit. Yep. Okay, so... Let's, I think we'll work on the blue flowers first. Put that there. Maybe I could have, do I have a paler blue? Might need something like that for over here. Maybe I'll use a different type of thread. So many questions, so many questions. Put that over there. And now to find the, to find where it starts. There. And these are already in lengths. I think this is the. It's an Australian hand dyed thread. I think it's gum nuts. I think I I bought it. it's called gum nuts. It's not cheap, but you get a lot. So you get a slight color variation in it. And you really need, unless you've got a big eyed needle, you really need your threader for this. Now, I don't, I don't think I want to fill these in completely. I just want to put a, th a few accents. Where will I start here? Sort of kind of like um, I was thinking like the vein, I mean it's a bit dark, darker than the actual colour. Oh gosh, I've, I've attached, I'm stitching in my needle book. And I am going to put centers in these ones. Okay, and I'm going to jump over here. like a silent movie, isn't it?
Okay, this won't take long. I'm just jumping all over the place here. Now some of this one will be covered by that other piece that I want to put on it. Hopefully I'll be able to get this whole flower done with this one thread. It would be good. And again, you could fill in these petals completely if you want to. It'd be nice if you had a variegated thread. It had very subtle changes. That would be pretty. I mean, this is slightly. It has subtle changes, but you, can al you almost can't even see them. a bit like a hot mess at the moment I don't think I'm going to come down and do those they're too close to the edge And I think I'm not going to use that one. Where did I put my blues here? I can put that away. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some DMC. What colour DMC will I use? This one, maybe? Or do I have a lighter one? One or something like that. I love that colour. That will blend. That's too much similar to the background, so I can't use that one because it'll blend the flower into the background. I think I like that colour more than this one. I'm going to just come in with a bit of detail. Got three strands here. Oh my wordy lordy, do you think I can thread it? Now let's see here. Like for example, I'm just going to come in and put in a few stitches in these petals. Just really quick. Yeah, I like that with the stitches in there. I'm going to come across here and finish this petal off. You could even distinguish them a bit further by having a few different shades of blue. Like on, on different flowers, different blues. In that one off. I'm 
that three, yes. I love all the colours on the back. Sometimes I like the backs. Yeah, I definitely think these ones that have um, the wool in the centres need the contrast of the threads. I'll finish this one flower off and then I'll, I'll pause the video and finish off the other flowers so we're not here until tomorrow watching me stitch. And I'm just doing short and long stitches, just whatever takes my fancy. If I want to put a little stitch in there, I will. And then I'll come over here and do this one. I'm nearly done with this flower. And now I'm thinking I could even come in from the very centre with an even darker shade and just have even, I don't know, I might do that once I finish these bits off. Now this one is looking a little bit too regular to me, so I'm just going to go back in, put a few more random, yes, that's better. I wasn't happy with that one. It's bothering me. Still need another stitch over here. That's better. Yes like that more okay so i'll go ahead and do the other ones and then i will come back hi guys so i'm back i did um my flowers here um and i'm going to put a center in them i'm just deciding between this color i think maybe i'll go with that color because this one is a bit similar to that one so yeah i think i'm just going to do some knots in the center and I'm going to take three strands and I might do colonial knots. Those were French knots just with two wraps and six strands. And here I'm going to do colonial knots and I've changed what color I'm going to do the, the mid-tone pink, I think, because it needs a bit more embroidery there. So we'll do some knots here colonial knot so you go around your needle like that and then up over the top so hold your thread with your other hand catch the thread on the side where your hand is like so and then bring this around the front We'll do it again. Whoops. And then of course you hold your tail there so it doesn't um you know so it's fairly tight. Slide it down your needle. Do one more here. So I think I'll end that off because it's quite far away from the other centers. Oh, nice to change, change pace. I know we did stitching yesterday, but that was the tag. Now here I could have a couple of little knots 
that's the edge of this petal over here you can't really tell because I've done my stitches in every which direction but I'll put a couple of knots there to distinguish that one okay and then I need to have a few knots over here I think I should end it off it's a bit far to jump And once you get your little knots in the centre, it does um, sort of define your flower a bit better. Okay, and I'll end that off so that way I should have enough thread to be able to do the other one, the last flower. And I've chosen, I think I might have said this, I've chosen not to embroider absolutely everything. You know, all the flowers, because there's flowers down the side here as well, but I'm not going to embroider everything, just a selection. So one. It's getting a little bit short. might be able to get away with just three knots yep three knots will do it so if I weren't going to put this on it I probably would go ahead and and work on some other areas like up here I might work a little bit on here and those but because I'm putting this there I don't need to do those bits. I think I really like it. I like how it's turning out. Um, I don't know whether I need to put more embroidery on there. I'm not sure. I want to do this up here and then I'll decide. Okay. I probably won't be able to thread that. Now this is quite a thin thread, even though it's a wool, it was one, I don't know where I got this one from, it's another embroidery wool, oops. I'm holding it with the wrong hand, I'm not very good I'm with my right hand, to do it the other way. Turn it around, that's better. Actually, first I'm supposed to put... Oh, what a ding-dong. I'll get there. I will get there. Maybe by this time tomorrow, I will have threaded my needle. Okay, there we go. Talk about uncoordinated. Oh, take that off. Okay, so here I'm going to be doing random stitches again. And it's just adding some texture. I'll do short and long stitches in here because this is quite otherwise it's quite a long stitch I'm 
make sure I'm not pulling it too tight. So this one is pretty much filled in this petal. Okay, so I'll go ahead and finish that and then I will come back. Hi guys, so I am back. I have stitched this down. Um, I've got my needle attached and I think I've decided that I'm going to go with this thread around here and fill in very loosely here because I feel like there's too big an expanse of just plain um, flower there with not much definition so I won't film that bit um, I might put a photograph up on Instagram when it's finished um, yeah but I am going to go very loosely around and stitch but it will take me a while to do it so I'll end the video here I won't video that process but I will put a photograph up on Instagram when I'm done but that is um, my approach to embroidering um, a, you know, like a large floral pattern. I just want to see if I had a book anywhere here. It could be really nice on the spine of a book. Just trying to see if I had anything that I could give you an example. I'll just take this floral book here. Just a sec. I've got my arm in front of you. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I've got this one here. And like... It's got a fairly big spine. I mean, that would be beautiful on the spine of a book. Just pretend you can't see that. Like that. Yeah, that would be really cool. I'd really like that on a book. So there you go. So just to give you an idea, um, and that was my mum's request. And so I thought I'd do that for her. And um, yep, so I'm going to go ahead and finish it. And I'll just put a photograph. Um, in the thumbnails and some close-ups as it is and then I'll probably finish it off tonight because I need to go and cook dinner now um, and and then as I said I'll put a, a photograph up on Instagram so there you go that's uh, embroidering a large floral fabric choosing you know choosing your bits and pieces to do and yeah I mean you can still see some of the fabric behind it it's not all covered this will be more I'm going to cover more of this because I think I, I like it more um, yeah so there you go. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you again soon and happy Easter. I think I'll probably do another video, but you never know. I'll see you again soon. Bye.